Hey, happy new year. This is Alan Smith coming from you from a very nice but cool southwest floor today. It's blue sky today. There's a little bit of wind blowing. It was about 60 degrees this morning. My house when I woke up absolutely frozen. I was thinking about throwing snowballs out in the yard. It's about 77 right now. Just got back from working with the Spencers, running around town, showing them some great homes up to about 600,000 in Cape Coral. Uh, we've been spending time out on Fort Myers Beach, Sanibel, and quite a bit down the river district of Fort Myers. So if you're looking in the price range between 300 and 600, Carol and I have literally toured every single home that's worth looking at in that price range. We have sifted and sorted through thousands of homes to try to find uh, Adrian and her husband the very best homes. We've we showed them some absolutely lovely ones today. Uh, there's a couple in Cape Coral that are over the top. There's a foreclosure right now. Uh, you know that's that's right at the end of a canal. It looks lengthwise on the waterway. The only negative to it is it backs up to Chiquita, but you can hear the road from inside the house and a super super house I call it a fire sale um, you, you know but uh, anyway some really great opportunities I want to show you what today's market looks like this is the 24-hour market watch and as you can see it's quite a bit low it is a national holiday day and half the realtors aren't working uh, new listings 53 listings went on the market in the last 24 hours and about 130 sold so we still got the same amount of selling which I would expect because we have a lot of people in town a lot of buyers from all over the world you go out to Sanibel and Sanibel's a parkway uh, to get through there it was it took us like an hour to get from one end of Sanibel to the other at just walking speed bumper to bumper traffic all the way across the bridge on the way over so you can definitely tell everybody's here from all parts of the world from Germany and Australia and the UK and a lot from Canada and Michigan and Ohio and California I've talked to people from Texas boy they're all here and they're all buying they're trying to take advantage of these prices and uh, the sellers are trying to take advantage of being able to sell before the you know the end of the year new year to take advantage of the tax uh, situation in case it changes so let's get started with today's tour so that uh, we can show you some of these great homes this home here is over on Serenity Lane. It's in Sanibel. It's in Gumbo Limbo. It's a really nice three bedroom, two bath home. It's about 1,700 square foot. This one here has miles of lush tropical bike paths around it, which is all over Sanibel. You can stroll along the peaceful turquoise waters of the Gulf of Mexico. You can enjoy golf right there across the way at the golf course. Uh, it's very private here, but yet it's so close to shopping and all the wonderful restaurants uh, and easy on and off access on that would be the east end of the island. This is a Florida home with a split floor plan. As you can see, it has the decking over the back looking down over the pool and very nice pool area. and gives you a little bit of idea on the, the tropical landscaping around this. The seller did have a wind mitigation report for the lower homeowner's insurance so that would lower your own in ho uh, home insurance. We always ask for the wind mitigation report with our clients anyway. You know, this is a topic that came up today as well. See, it give you a little idea what the, some of the views over the top of the uh, of the conservatory there and the conservation area. A lot of great stuff on this home. Uh, $489,000 makes it a bargain. You know, we ran into a home that we looked at today that was selling for $750 that originally sold for $1.2 that the owners bought just uh, in 2009. Turns out it's full of Chinese drywall. And my only question to my clients was how in the heck did anybody buy a house full of Chinese drywall? Why didn't they get an inspection? And we asked the seller some of those questions and it quickly became apparent that somebody dropped the ball. You know, one of the things that we do with our clients is we really go over every detail. We make sure we cross every T, we dot every I, we do pest inspections and structural inspections and drywall inspections because we want to make sure that we have every base that we possibly could have covered for our clients to make sure that you're buying not only the best home at the best price, but that it's a home you and your family are going to enjoy for years and years to come and hopefully you're not going to have any issues or problems like they did. I really feel sorry for them. Uh, it's going 
going to be a real ugly deal for them. They're trying to short sale that home at $750,000. They're both doctors who work, and that's not a hardship issue. The fact that they bought a home that had uh, Chinese drywall and it's not going to be something the bank is going to want to take a $500,000 loss in because they, uh, uh, they or their agents made a mistake and, uh, and, and they bought a bad home. Anyway, this one's 479000 It's on Pine Tree Drive, again, out on Sanibel. Very nice old older home. This one was built in the 70s. But again, we're out on Sanibel, and you get under $500,000, you are not going to get any home that's newer than 10 years. Most of these are going to be older cottage-style homes that have been remodeled, or in many cases, they're going to be needing remodeling. But this one is only a short walk to the beach. It's direct access to the Gulf of Mexico. It's in move-in condition. It's a very nice, well-maintained 3-2 with a new air conditioner and a new air handler. This is the lowest priced canal home on Sanibel. We showed this to our client and, and they chuckled. They said they could buy houses like this in Michigan for 30000 and here we are at almost 500000 But again, this isn't Michigan, it's Sanibel. And being on the water in Sanibel has to be the two biggest uh, you know, catches uh, down here in Sanibel. Sanibel being the most highly sought after, you know, arguably some of the most highly sought after real estate in the entire United States. And then you put its limited amount of waterfront on top of that. And you're talking about one of the most exclusive, desirable properties, types of properties here in Southwest Florida. But it gives you an idea on what you can get here. This is definitely the entry level on anything on the water in Sanibel. And at $479, it's still under that $500,000 mark. Okay, now we're going to run over to Cape Coral on Southeast 16th. We tour this home uh, as well. This is a beautiful home in Cape Coral for $474. This one is priced to sell. This is a dr gorgeous direct access 3-3 home built in 2005. And let me tell you, look at the floors in this home. Look in the finished details. This has a three-car garage. It's on a triple lot. It's 10 minutes to open water. This baby is spectacular all the way through. It is really, really nice. Uh, it's got Marble travel time floors, I mean marble floors, travertine college, granite countertops. It's got lighted tray ceilings in it, hurricane impact windows and doors throughout. It's tropical paradise here, I'll tell you what folks, for boating, fishing, relaxing in this immaculate upscale home. It does have a nice fireplace as you see there. The kitchen is right over here. This is kind of a game room. They've got it laid out with an inside bar and everything in it. Uh, as you see right there, that's a bar spot there for the bar refrigerator. All kinds of neat things about this house. Uh, it's western exposure. This is uh, the bar area right here. This is all goes out to the pool area. This would be where you'd put your big screen TV set. A uh, little looking out to the pool areas and some of the rooms. Uh, the master uh, uh, bathroom areas. The only downside to this home, and but it is a courtyard home, which takes control of it, but see, it's a courtyard home. And on the other side of this is one of the busiest roads in Cape Coral, which is Del Prado. Now, you can't hear it from the house and whatsoever, and with the waterfall going out by the pool, you can't really hear the road. But this home is would be, you know, $800,000 if the location wasn't where it's at. And that's really what we run into, is the people, people in general see these kinds of homes like this, and they want this home, but then they want it in a different location for the same amount of price, and obviously that's unreasonable. It's not going to happen. This home here would literally be eight dollars $900,000 if it didn't have, uh, you know, wasn't one street off of a busy main road. But again, it is that courtyard-type home, which means that when you're in the courtyard you can't see any of that you still have this beautiful this is del prado right over here so the busy roads on the other side of the canal this is a deal guys Th and this is from looking over from del prado to the home and this is the courtyard right here if you're looking for a home that you want an over the top absolutely incredible buy and you know having that busy street on the other side of the canal is not that big a deal to you that is this week's best buy of the week bear none that is it got finishing details that you see only in million dollar homes. Okay, now this home is another one that we showed them today. Another one of those. This is a foreclosure. Unfortunately, the road right here in front is uh, Chiquita Boulevard, which is one of the busy four lanes of town. But again, once you're inside the home, you don't hear it. Now, this is also at the end of a canal, so it looks lengthwise down the canal. This home is the number two best buy 
anywhere in Cape Coral, if you're looking for something under 500000 and you want an estate quality executive home, but you don't want to pay six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars for it, you can buy this one for four sixty, which puts you under five. It's a three three two thousand and six three thousand square foot home. This is kind of unique. It's got a small spiral staircase that goes up to a little room up here, like a crow's nest, like you would think of for a uh, a lighthouse crow's nest. This has all the columns in it, separate pool bath, custom pool and spa, family and living areas, beautiful breakfast bar. It's got a, a granite countertops throughout, walk-through pantry, separate showers and garden tubs in the master, fresh pavers and paint on the lanai. It's pre-wired for surround sound. Little bit on the bathroom, give you a shot of the kitchen there. As you can see, the lengthwise view down the canal, this one's all about views. This home, again, would be in the $800,000 range if it wasn't on Chiquita. But again, if you're willing, if you're looking for that exquisite home and you're not so uptight about the exact location, these two homes that I've just showed you are the best value bargain homes for just over the top luxury there is. Spillover fountain, it's got the infinity pool off the side. This area is a swim up area. This is supposed to have a palapa right here because it's a foreclosure the palapa hut's gone but you put it right here uh, and it would have the full palapa which would go right here uh, on the on the paver deck area it's got the uh, you know the no seam front windows to look out down that canal and that's the view you'd have here's your infinity edge pool the water's a little down in the pool right now but this is it folks I'll tell you if you want a super, super piece with a beautiful view in an over-the-top home for under $500,000, this is an unheard of buy at four sixty. dollars I bet it won't last the week. Now, we're going to drop down to three ninety nine dollars on Southwest 28th in Cape Coral. This is a three-bedroom, two-bath home, about 2,000 square foot. This is another outstanding golf access lagoon type pool home. It was built by Gother and Sons. Now, this home is a heavy-duty construction with extra-large reinforced footers, and all the interior walls are 2 by 6 uh, insulated with R19 insulation. So your bill should be low on this one. Energy costs will be low. Lovely kitchen area. All slab columns are solid solid poured with 350 PSI rating. So in other words, this is one of those homes that was built through and through nice. Lighted arches, niches, and travertine floors with custom tile work surround throughout this house. It does have a beautiful pebble deck pool and spa, which is very secluded, as well as that spacious lanai out the back, which overlooks the canal. I'll tell you, there's a lot of good things about this home. And at the under $400,000 mark, at $399,900, it's definitely one of those you consider. And best of all, it's got this sunbathing area. If you don't feel like swimming, it's about four inches deep. You stick your pool in there, sit there and sip on your toddy in your own private pool. Life doesn't get much better than that. And at an entry level price of $399, you'd be right in there. Okay, this one's also $399 that you can use as a comparison. It's 2,100 square foot. It's three bedroom, two bath. It's on Southwest 22nd down in Southwest Cape. This is another really nice golf access pool that we uh, home that we looked at today. This is simply minutes down to Cape Harbor and uh, the great restaurants there and all the wonderful things to do there. This home is definitely priced to sell. It's immaculate. It's got soaring ceilings throughout it. It's got the huge sliders that open up to the outside pool area. The great room design which so many people love. It's light, bright, and airy. It's got a wonderful master suite which overlooks the pool and the spa. Soaker tub with lots of light from the glass block windows. All kinds of really nice things and better yet the assessments are paid on that so there's no extra fees or costs involved in this home. Very large lanai. I tell you this is another one of those homes that's got a great view and for that under $400,000 price is a very very nice value. We're still under 400 at 397. This is a three car garage home. It's impeccable home inside and out. It's on Beach Parkway. This is that other one that we looked at. Had the great view. Had the infinity edge pool with the open screen, uh, manicured landscaping. It has a three car garage. It looks full length down the uh, the canal. This pool is heated. The decking is ceramic tile. This home is immaculate. It's a four bedroom, three bath. Built in 2001. It does have the easy slide 
sideways hurricane awnings on it for all the windows and doors. Um, if, if the storm is storm things uh, are a concern of yours, again, I've got the map for all the hurricanes. You'll see that we've only been hit with one over like 100 years. The full hurricane map is on the Facebook page. You can see where every hurricane goes. It's very difficult for a hurricane to get to us unless it crosses uh, Florida from the Miami side. And then by the time it gets here, it's just a windstorm. However, we did get a close call by one in 2005 that turned back on itself, which is a real, a real rarity. But I guess it can happen. This dock, by the way, in this home has that synthetic decking on the wraparound dock and for you boat lovers has a 10,000 pound boat lift. So this home has a lot of great things about it. Just give you an overhead of the area. Here's the canal system that comes down this way that goes out through the locks down there uh, by Rum Runners Restaurant. Okay, here's another nice one off of Southwest 21st. This too is a four bedroom, two bath, little over 2,000 square foot. Actually, I think it's about 2,100. This is golf access, fully custom home. It's exquisite, uh, has really nice, exquisite imported wood flooring with hand carved mahogany doors and crown moldings throughout. It's a finely detailed home. It gives you a nice, warm, rich feeling. I also thought it, it had, was very nice that it had the high ceilings with the tray ceiling in the dining room. It's got a wraparound dock with a 10,000 pound boat lift with also has a remote control. And the remote control is about a $700 feature. I know because Tom Hopkins was looking at putting one on his. This is an extra beautiful home for you to own and it would be an absolute over-the-top income potential rental to use it when uh, as a rental which is very easy to do by the way guys I always hear from people that are scared about using a rental it's not like having an around town rental the people that can afford the rentals down here like this are executives like yourself they take care of your properties I've never had anybody uh, that I know of that has been my clients that have told me that they've ever had a problem either with renting homes or had any problem with damage or anything so it's worked out very nice for every single one of my clients who have ever tried it and believe it or not it's really simple to do. Now this home's at 389. Now this is in North Fort Myers uh, up in the country area of Fort Myers off of Skyline Drive. Now this is riverfront but again it's it's up in North Fort Myers a long ways away from the river, long ways to open up but it is riverfront. Uh, it's a very nice country style home. It's got a lot of uh, uh, space in it it's got a lot of potential does need some updating but you know the home was built in 77 it's pretty clean uh, it's got room for that RV trailer or boat which you can't keep in a place in Cape Coral you have to use storage uh, facilities does have 16 inch concrete with a full size beautiful bricks upstairs floors or 13 inch solid concrete the upstairs has a nice pantry area. It was originally built for an elevator shaft it could still be done if the buyer decides to do that but this home does show um, it's clean and everything but it's kind of different in the fact that it is brick doesn't have a seawall doesn't have a dock doesn't have a lift and I wouldn't say the canal is a canal I mean it is but it's more like a natural creek now this is not a man-made canal like what you're gonna see in Cape Coral North Fort Myers has a lot of the natural, uh, natural, uh, what am I looking for? The word I'm looking for is these, uh, what these plants are called here. But anyway, you know, the natural waterways, the natural canals uh, up in here, and this is one of them. So if you're looking for a lot of elbow room, you don't mind an elderly home, you can fix it up and take care of yourself for $389,000. A lot of home, a lot of potential there. Okay, Cape Harbor, here's a condo. This is down here in Cape Harbor in Southwest Cape. Lovely all boating condo community and at 385,000, these condos are really over the top. Three bedroom, two bath, 1800 square foot so they're large this is a luxury waterfront yachting community this one's on the fifth floor so you're high enough to where you get the benefit of the extended balconies found only on the one level in other words the balconies are like 2,000 square foot they have this huge open area to them uh, where you have full use of the balconies 10 foot ceilings full length sliders top to bottom you get a little idea of the view there very nice kitchen with granite countertops throughout, large walk-in showers, uh, sun decks. You have an additional bonus room here. It could be a home office or a craft room or a den, extra storage, that kind of thing. When it comes to condominium units down here, folks, I have to tell you, in the 350 range, the 380 range, there's really some dynamite, dynamite high-rise condos. Both here and in Fort Myers, we've sold several of them. We're condo experts. Carol knows them like the back of her hand. Give us a call at 239-872-7736, and let's talk about your best shot at getting something, a beautiful condo down here. 
But for now, let's run back and talk about these homes. This one's 369 Southwest 33rd. I just have a couple more I want to show you here. This is a golf access spectacular water view home. It's got Corian countertops, tile flooring, lush landscaping. It does have that wonderful pool and spa and the Roman bathroom. The Roman tub meaning the tub sits here, the shower's right behind it. So you walk around the back, walk around that glass wall. His and her vanities, one on each side. Uh, currently, the third bedroom is a beautifully designed as a sewing room, but obviously doesn't take anything to put it back as a bedroom. That is an office area that you're seeing there. The dock has a 10,000 pound boat lift and a tiki hut. I'll tell you what, at 369000 it may be a tad high, but I'm sure that I could negotiate it down for you, and that would be a great opportunity to get a hold of. As would this one at Southwest 39 Terrace in Cape Coral. Three bedroom, two bath, built in 95. Uh, about 1,900, a little under 2,000 square foot, so it's more than 1,900. 374.9 for this beautifully renovated golf access home. It's got separate living and dining areas and a separate family room. It's got an oversized lanai, makes for the perfect party place, which looks over the basin view. It's been freshly landscaped, new washer and dryer, along with all new stainless steel appliances, all tile throughout except for uh, on a few areas, and that tile is placed on the diagonal, by the way. It does have uh, granite throughout. It's an excellent home, a great location, give you a little idea of the base and views there on a few of the things that this home has to offer. There's a smaller boat deck and a one-sided uh, captain's walk dock, but you could always expand this into a wraparound pretty easily if you wanted that big, lavish wraparound dock. Now this home here is 3449. It's off of Southeast 11th. It's a wonderful 3-3, built in 2004, uh, 2100 square foot. I've shown this home several times. It's a beautiful golf access home with a boat dock in it fabulous view. The only reason this home is still on the market is because they use it as a rental and we can't show it when it's rented and like most homes that are used for rented, they're rented all the time. So I don't know why the owners try to sell something if they're going to rent it if you can't show it because obviously if you can't show it, you can't sell it. But anyway, I'm not the listing agent. The pool and spa are electric heated on this home. It's completed pool area screened. It's got a very nice open kitchen. Be a great opportunity and at 344.9 it's definitely one that you should consider. Well, there you wrap it up for New Year's Eve, quality tour of homes both in Cape Coral and Sanibel. Wanted to bring you some of the best of the best under the $500,000 range. Shoot me an email. Tell me what you're looking for. By golly sakes, if you're coming to town in the next 60 days, please give us a call, 239-872-7736. Let us know what you're looking for. Give us some more detail. I get emails every day from people that send me a sentence or two of what they're looking for, and then I email them back, and I never hear back from them. If I never hear back from you, folks, I can't help you out. I always say it's better to call. I can't possibly answer all the emails, although I do try. So give me a call, 239-872-7736, or better yet, if you're going to send me an email, send me an email with your phone number. I'll give you a call, talk to you for 5-10 minutes, go over exactly what you're looking through, and we'll show you the best buys for what your money's going to buy, and it'll do the best for you to get you down here in your own piece of paradise. So anyway, have a happy new year, a wonderful 2013, and I look forward to meeting with you and working with you next year. Got some exciting things coming up. I can't wait to tell you. This is Alan Smith wishing you a warm, wonderful, sunny Southwest Florida day wherever you're at. Bye-bye now.